the Leadership Conference on Civil and Human Rights, uh, we're essentially a coalition, uh, and we have about 200 different national organizations, and we all work collectively to promote and protect the rights of all people uh, in the U.S. Uh, and uh, so on different issues, we'll organize different task forces to work on, uh, you know, that particular set of issues. So, uh, you know, one issue area would be judicial nominations. Another issue area would be uh, hate crimes, uh, uh, education, um, census. Uh, so there a whole wide range of different issues that we will work with different groups uh, to help coordinate those efforts to make sure that we're we're all working together to achieve uh, the common goal. Gotcha, gotcha. And uh, how, how has that work been in the Trump era? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it has been uh, very challenging. Challenging. Um, yeah, challenging is, I think, the best word. Uh, you know, I my first job in D.C. was at the ACLU, as I mentioned, and that was under President Bush. Uh, and certainly there were challenges then. Uh, in particular, you know, my, my time at the ACLU started right before uh, 9-11, and the uh, overwhelming uh, majority of my work at the ACLU was consumed by the uh, Patriot Act and other anti-terrorism legislation that came up after after those attacks. Uh, and certainly, uh, you know, now under President Trump uh, and Attorney General Sessions and Betsy DeVos, and others, we are seeing a systematic attempt to roll back on the progress that we've seen, uh, not just over the past eight years, but really, you know, uh, the progress that the country has made on civil rights overall. Um, uh, you know, I mentioned the, the judicial nominations, and that's, I think, just one example. But, uh, you know, when you change judges and you appoint judges who, you know, have the seal of approval from the Heritage Foundation and, and the Federalist Society, you know, those are judges that are going to have a very conservative viewpoint and, and uh, rule from the bench in manners and ways that uh, really are likely to roll back on uh, the important civil rights advancements that we made over the past uh, past many years. 